good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Night Prayer for Monday, September the 5th. It's week three in the Psalm cycle, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 130. Philippians chapter 1, verse 1 through 11. And a canticle from the prophet Tobit, chapter 13, verse 1 through 4. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, you have, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Out of the depths I cry to you. Alleluia. Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, hear my voice. O oh, let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you should mark our guilt, who could survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for you. I count on your word. My soul is longing for you more than those who watch for daybreak. Let the watchers count on daybreak and Israel on God. Because with you there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed you will redeem from all her iniquity. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, out of the depths I cry to you. Alleluia. The lesson is from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. Paul and Timothy, servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you, because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you, because you hold me in your hearts, for all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight, to help you to determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and the praise of God. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Alleluia, blessed be God who lives forever. Alleluia. Canticle from Tobit. Blessed be God who lives forever, because God's kingdom lasts throughout all ages. For God afflicts and God shows mercy. God leads down to Hades in the lowest regions of the earth, and God brings up from the great abyss, and there is nothing that can escape God's hands. Acknowledge God before the nations, O children of Israel, for God has scattered you among them. God has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt God in the presence of every living being, for he is our Lord, he is our God, he is our Father, and he is God forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed be God who lives forever. Alleluia. <laughs> O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.